Okay. <laughs> this is what we're dealing with, all right? Okay. This is what a wig looks like when you just get it. I did wash it. I recommend you wash any wig that you get. I don't know, I just hate the smell of them. Wash them first because the smell is just, I don't know, something about it is just so annoying to me. As you can see, it very much does look like a wig when you get it. And it's not like a bad thing because I'm not trying to hide that this is a wig. By the way, this video is gonna be about shaping wigs and then I'm gonna do like a little bit of an update and at the beginning, I'm gonna give you a bunch of tips on how to make a wig look more like your hair. I don't know how I feel about it. The bangs too long when you cut the bangs don't cut them like this cut them vertically be careful though look so far away from the mirror because i need to be filming too it's such a mess doing this like not vibing with what my skin looks like today but like there's nothing i can do about it honestly the second thing that you will notice about wigs in general is how just how full they are to the point where they look fake you know obviously because they are fake <laughs> just take shears i don't know what they look at them cost and whatever because these ones are technically for dogs it's from a grooming kid i don't know what you're expecting here but did i just wrap it like that and cut it Yes, and that's what you gotta do. You gotta mess it up. You gotta cut out a bunch of chunks, but with shears, because this way it's really easy to do. I feel like it already looks a little better. Maybe not. Also, I need a lipstick. This look is just not doing it for me. Like, it's not doing me any favors. I like to cut multiple times. Quick tips I'm gonna say ahead of time for all of you who are watching just for the sake of the wig part. Take tweezers and make this part a lot more visible. Just pluck away. What's new with you? What are you listening to? What kind of new music is out there? I'm listening to Capper songs by FK Twigs. There's a lot of good bangers on it. I went to her concert once. She's a really good life, like really, really good. It's such a unique experience seeing her life. Work on the lower layers. See, I took away so much hair and it's still, well, okay, maybe not that full, but it's still like way full. And the thing is, if you try to do it with regular scissors, you're gonna have to go vertically and it's gonna take you like 300 years to do it. So I recommend getting shears if you are going to wear wigs. This is such a long process. I genuinely hate fitting the damn wigs. Also, don't buy those expensive ones. I saw some expensive ones that were like kind of targeted at people who have cancer, which is kind of fucked up because it's like it's like $500 for a wig and that wig is also ugly. Like at least make it cute. Like I already have cancer. Don't make it worse for me. Hello. I'm gonna make this sheer as well because I just like sheer bangs. There's so much hair. Like it looks like I didn't do anything yet and i already cut out so much it's like losing your hair all over again just pulling chunks out here try it how do you like it i don't know it feels kind of weird <laughs> so good news is um i got my scan back so basically the way that cancer treatments work is that you get a scan in the middle of the treatment to figure out whether the treatment is working and if it is then there's some medications that kind of get cut out of your chemo system because they are way too damaging for your organs so they kind of have to cut back on them if they did their job already my scan came back clean we're living ladies we're living literally <laughs> so i need to just finish my chemo treatment and i don't need radiation or anything like that thank god which is all good news and at first i was kind of you know like I, I had this relief that I don't have to do all this extra stuff but then I still kind of I'm worn out by chemo I don't know how I mean I know how other people do more treatments it's just they don't have a choice that's how they do more treatments but it sucks ass I'm telling you I'm at my limit I definitely am I know that there's like so many people who are like all like inspirational about it and I love them for it I do but I'm a little bitch that's gonna complain okay just because that's just who I am <laughs> Yeah, that's just who I am. There's literally nothing else I can tell you about this. When I feel shit, I complain about it. It's just how it is. It's just I hate this experience. I don't think it's going to make me look at life a different way. No, it just sucks. I've been living my life pretty well before. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that much. Like, it was fine. I. It's not like I 
learn something and there was like this big epiphany or something like that i just fucking hate this experience it sucks being sick it's not news it's not new information for me you know i already knew that because i'm not an idiot just like other people you know we all know that being sick sucks definitely need to figure out this part am i gonna mess it up because i'm going too fast and because i'm doing it so aggressively maybe but am i losing my shit from boredom yes because the thing is since i'm doing this for a video i can't be watching anything i can't be talking to anybody so i just have to kind of entertain myself um which is totally fine i guess but i'm a little sick of myself lately because my thoughts are kind of cyclical when you're sick and you don't do anything because you can't do much your thoughts tend to become cyclical they are usually about the fact that you're sick and they're usually about things that you try to distract yourself with but you're failing because everything hurts so much i don't have much hair left but i'm holding on to it as if that's gonna make me less bold like i don't know why i'm holding on to it and maybe i don't know i'm feeling stubborn for some reason i just don't feel like losing my hair now like i should just get rid of it because there's just so little left but i'm just so stubborn <laughs> so you just get one of these bitches okay look at the top it doesn't look like it's your head because there's just too much hair right so go in the middle where it connects to that little middle part and pluck it out it's so hard with long wigs oh my goodness so much easier when they're little I still feel like I have I have way too much volume at the top. I grabbed the wrong thing. I grabbed not shears. Oh, the damage is done. The damage is done. All right. Okay. Let me try and fix it with shears. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you lose concentration. I am in a crisis. This is really something. Um. <laughs> it's absolutely scrape. I think I'm back. I think I'm back to normal. What I usually do is I take this sides and I kind of cut them even more, but at an angle. I wish my skin was better today, so I could sell this better, okay? It still needs work, but I'm getting there. Except for this part, which... Just ignore it. Come on now. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye!